care, I don't care who you are. All of us go through struggles, trials, and tribulations. And God knows I've gone through my share of them. That only means that I'm alive, right? Now, how often do we feel that people owe us something because what we did for them? Well, if life was fair, those of you who know me, you know that I'm a big time eater. Oh man, I love to eat. So the amount of sushi and lobsters and shrimps and all that other so-called rich stuff that um, I bought for people, and you know who I'm talking about, that's a lot of you guys. If life was fair, then I wouldn't have to ever buy some food again. And that's not the case. My motivation, martial arts motivation, man, that's important. Why? Because martial arts and motivation goes hand in glove. You know, there's people in the martial arts who um, run karate schools and they're not successful. Because it's hard to be successful when you're broke. But that's the catch-22, I should say, the paradox. If you're not motivated, you're going to stay broke. So it's hard to be motivated when you're broke. <laughs> But when you're not motivated, you're gonna stay broke. And that's really the truth. So now, what separates the successful schools from the unsuccessful schools? And people all have their own ideas. Mind you, I ran successful operations as a young man when I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But I know one thing, I wasn't gonna follow the people who had produced some results that I did not have. I should say, did not watch. I hope you guys ain't getting dizzy. My arm's getting tired. Anyhow, my point is that if you have a karate school and you have 20, 30 students and you're working a job and then you're trying to have a relationship at home, guys, that doesn't work out. It really doesn't work out. You know, I've tried it. It hasn't worked. At the same time, even if you know exactly what to do and you teach better than ever, it doesn't matter. If you don't have a team of people taking care of their part, then you're going to be a failure. That was me in recent years. As a one-man show, it didn't work out. And then when I got someone who had experience, who had been there, done that, he dropped the ball. I was teaching better than ever, I must say that. However, no one person is the entire school or the dojo. You need to have balance. And there's best practices, there's certain things that you must have in order for you to be successful.